Now we're going to use the area method, area model, for doing a multiplication problem that has two digits multiplied by two digits. This is a little bit different than the previous pattern that we've done before. So if I had 32 times 41, I would need to make the area model for this multiplication problem. So normally we would say 32 times 41. Well, of course, with students, we want to try our best to break this up so that, so that it isn't so, so, is so large. So we're going to break the value of 32 up. The value of the 3 is 30, and the value of the 2 is 2. So we're going to split it up into two parts. Same thing over here with the 41. We're going to split the value of the 4 is 40, and the value of the 1 is 1. We're going to split that up into two parts. So now we have what we call 4 squared. And we're going to now follow the regular area method to solve for inside each quadrant. So we're going to do our base times our height. 30 times 40. Again, base times height. 40 times 2. Base times height, 30 times 1. And lastly, base times height, 2 times 1. And of course, we work these multiplication problems out the same way that we have, that we have before, where we try to remember 3 times 4 is 12. Well, there's a, a 0 here and a 0 here. Now, this is a little different than what we've done before. We have to start to understand that if I added 30 40 times, or if I added 40 30 times, I would need to understand that that would give me a value at a zero in the ones place and a zero in the tens place. And many times I actually work that out with, with students because they have a, a better understanding of where these zeros came from. Because that just helps us understand a little bit better why we're putting those zeros there. Once we have that basic understanding, we will remember it and mentally understand why we have the zero there, and it helps us to, um, we don't always have to work it out, but it helps us to um, understand why we have to have it there. Moving on, 40 times 2, we would do 4 times 2 is 8, and again, I'm going to have a zero in the one slice, because there's a zero in 40 in the one slice. Again, down here, 3 times 1 is 3. I have a 0 in one slice, so I'm going to have a 0 in 30. And of course, 2 times 1 is 2. And following the regular pattern that we have with area model, we are finding the area of the whole entire object. In order to find the area of the whole entire object, we need to add all of our answers together. 1200 plus 80, plus 30, plus 2. So, the answer to 32 times 41 equals 1,312.